Good morning. Good morning, Colleen, and welcome to today's meeting of the um, Boston Public Facilities Commission. I will turn it over to TT. Good morning again, Commissioners. This meeting is being recorded and broadcast live. Before we get started, I've asked Colleen Daly, the PFC Secretary, to take a roll call of the meeting participants. Colleen, if you please conduct the roll call. Thank you, TT. Participants, please unmute your device and confirm your presence when I call your name, beginning roll call with the Commission. Catherine Craven, Chair. Present. Larry Mamoli, Commissioner. Present. T.T. Lee, Legal Advisor. Present. Catherine Pendleton, Audible Clerk. Present. Next with the Public Works Department, Joe Fleury, Principal Bridge Engineer with Public Works. Present. Brian Valancourt, Project Manager, Planning and Permitting Department, AECOM. Present. I'll read for the record the remainder of the individuals who are in attendance but will not be presenting in today's meeting. Attendees do not need to unmute your device when your name is called. Catherine Klein, Esquire, Shareholder, KP Law. Michael Arenberger, Project Manager, Benish. This concludes roll call. Thank you. Thank you, Colleen. The Public Works Department has one vote on the agenda for today. Vote number one is being presented by Joseph Flurry, Principal Bridge Engineer with P Public Works, and Brian Valancourt, Project Manager, Planning and Permitting Department with AECOM. Vote one is a request for an order of taking for temporary construction easements located at the following addresses, 160 North Washington Street, 44 Charles River Avenue. Uh, the, these easements concern the Public Works Department North Washington Street Bridge Replacement Project. Joseph and Brian, if you please present vote number one. Thanks, TT. Uh, yes, hi, uh, Joe Fleury here with Boston Public Works um, before the commission today to obtain uh, temporary easements to help facilitate uh, the construction of the new North Washington Street Bridge. I'm here with Brian Valancourt with AECOM, Mike Ollenberger with Alfred Banesh, and Katie Klein with KP Law. Um, thanks to the commissioners for having us, and, and thank you to the PSC staff for guiding us through this process. Um, the project in question is the complete replacement of the North, uh, the city-owned North Washington Street Bridge, um, also known as uh, the Charlestown Bridge. Um, this replacement is a collaboration between the city, uh, MassDOT, and the Federal Highway Administration. Um, the new bridge will feature wide sidewalks, cycle tracks, an inbound bus lane, and four general use travel lanes, and some landscaping. Um, do, do we want to uh, put up the presentation um, at this point? Great. Uh, so uh, here's just a, a look at you. Um, and this is uh, an overhead of the in-progress in construction. Uh, Boston Public Works was before the commission in August 2017 to obtain the original temporary construction easements. Um, in that uh, hearing, we obtained a five-year easement, five-year easements um, with an expected construction duration of four years. Um, this project, is, the construction is administered by MassDOT, and MassDOT had a delayed notice to proceed to the contractor um, that, that ultimately was issued in August of 2018. Uh, this delayed uh, notice to proceed and uh, construction delays, which I'll get into in a moment, have required us to come back before PFC uh, to obtain these new easements at four privately owned parcels. Um, there's two property owners uh, that were here today um, to obtain uh, the temporary easements for, and we'll be back before the commission next month to, uh, for the last two. Uh, you can go to the next slide. Uh, just a little bit on the work done to date. Um, we've installed, uh, the contractor has installed a temporary bridge to the west uh, Charles River side of the old bridge. Um, the old structure has been demolished, including the piers in the water. Um, new construction in the water uh, has included uh, deep foundations and uh, new piers. 60% um, of the structural steel has been erected, which you can see there, uh, the, the uh, steel tub girders um, to the right. Um, as part of the state's MassDOT's inspection of this new steel, cracks in the vertical welds uh, were identified um, a, a total of 52 cracks. Uh, next slide, please. 
Uh, here's a, a, a couple pictures of the inside of those steel tub girders uh, showing the, the crack locations um, at the, the interior diaphragm locations. Um, you can go to the next slide. Uh, MassDOT, um, in coordination with the city and uh, the contractor, has developed a corrective action plan to address these cracks and ensure that the bridge performs well uh, through its intended service life. Uh, all these cracks uh, occurred at a particular type of weld detail. Um, this detail was, was used at the interior diaphragms uh, in 192 locations throughout the project um, out of thousands of, of total welds. At these locations, out of the 192 locations where we, we might find a crack, 52 in total were found. But at all 192 locations uh, will be uh, mapped and tested um, for cracks. Um, the paint will be removed and the, the uh, connection will be heat treated, um, which will make the steel uh, more ductile and, and less susceptible to cracking. Um, and then repainted. Um, at the locations where we did find cracks, again, 52 um, to date, um, the weld will actually be ground out and, and a new weld will be performed. You can go to the next slide. Uh, the contractor is actively working on this corrective action plan uh, with the intent on completing the work in December or January of this year, um, both in the steel erected on site and in the, the steel uh, fabricator uh, up, in, up in Maine. Um, once this corrective action is completed, uh, regular contract work will, be, will begin again. Um, traffic uh, is currently scheduled to switch to the new bridge in December of next year. Uh, the project will continue to have one sidewalk uh, now on the harbor side as opposed to the uh, river side um, with th three lanes of vehicular traffic, uh, same as the condition now. Um, Flipping the, the traffic onto the new bridge will allow us to complete the work um, where the temporary bridge lands on the north end side of the river. Uh, so there's a couple more foundations and piers that need to go uh, be installed uh, where the temporary bridge currently lands. Um, the bridge should be completely uh, open to users in December of 24. Um, with the contract complete uh, in March 25, uh, you know, punchless items and uh, the like from December 24 to March 25, and then turned back over to the city. Um, you know, this is, of course, the, the contractor is scheduled now, um, and, and uh, we hope that, that they can maintain that. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, so here's just a rendering of the completed bridge uh, with the wide sidewalks, uh, cycle tracks, uh, the bus lane inbound um, from, from Charlestown to the north end, and for general use traffic lanes. With that, I'll, uh, I'll turn it over to Brian with AECOM to walk through the easements themselves. Uh, next slide, please, and thank you, Joe, and thank you for the uh, commissioners for your time today to on this request. Um, the easement term is that we're at requesting is for five years, um, and that was based on a recommendation by MassDOT, as you heard from Joe. Uh, construction is planned for three years but the mass data has recommended a five-year easement term, and that's what we're going with. And on the plan here, we show the three easements, temporary easements that we are before the commission uh, here today. Uh, TE three and four are with, associated with 160 North Washington Street, and uh, TE eight is associated with uh, Charles River Avenue. Uh, the the easements, the temporary easements, are this the same size, shape, and location as we had previously been before the commission in 2017. And we are acquiring these temporary easements following the uh, FHWA's guidance, the Uniform Act, uh, Massachusetts uh, General Law Chapter 79, and the PFC's enabling uh, legislation. Um, the team has held a series of uh, six public meetings during the course of uh, construction. And then that was um, both in person and uh, virtual. And then most recently, back on October 18th and 19th, 
Uh, two more public meetings were held to update the public on the current status and the planned construction. Uh, the uh, outreach that we've performed with the property owners includes contacting each owner by mail, phone, or in person uh, starting in July of this year. All mailings have been sent by a certified mail. Uh, the right-of-way team has made at least three contacts with the individual owners or their representatives, and we've discussed the, uh, the overall uh, process, uh, the temporary easements and their rights, and they were given the uh, federal aid guide to property owners. Uh, they were provided with uh, project plans and, and an overview of the uh, project status and the nature of the work, uh, the purpose and location of the easements, and likely construction uh, duration and coordination and access. We had new appraisals done uh, this summer and fall for these properties, and the property values in this area of the city have increased uh, substantially. Uh, prior back in 2017, they were on the, in the order of $100 per square foot, and now they're in the range of 260 to 270 dollars per square foot. So there's been a, a very substantial increase in, in property values here. Um, what's driving the uh, proposed award of damages is the uh, planned construction activity and the duration of that activity uh, on the easement size compared to uh, 2017. And we also note that a portion of uh, TE4 will be have an exclusive use on it, and we'll get into detail of that in just a moment. And all of TE8 will be exclusively used by the uh, contractor. Uh, some larger context, uh, the total estimated construction cost for the project is $176 million. Uh, the city is contributing $15 million, and the balance is a mix of 80% federal and 20% uh, uh, state funds. Uh, next slide, please. So TE3 is a temporary easement. It's for bridge wing wall modifications. It, the property is at 160 North Washington Street, and the, the size is uh, 251 square feet. And just for the benefit of commission's uh, uh, knowledge, uh, this was originally appraised back in 2017 as an $11,000 uh, temporary easement with the same duration. And this time in 2022, the um, easement is value is at, at $28,300. And, and that reflects the uh, significant increase in property values in, in this area of the city. Uh, next slide, please. TE4, we have, um, we're showing both the um, exclusive area at 120 square feet, which is used to support the temporary bridge structure, and then the non-exclusive area of uh, 2,578 square feet for a total of uh, 2,698 square feet for the entire temporary uh, easement. And this to, is to provide access for the bridge construction, um, and provide, act, and provide space for the, the temporary bridge and facilitate sidewalk uh, construction. The sidewalk construction work will occur on the left-hand side in front of the building face, and the uh, contractor in the city will be coordinating closely with the, private, with the property owner while that sidewalk work is ongoing, and the city will also be posting a detour route as the, those entrances will be temporarily closed during the sidewalk construction there. Uh, next slide, please. And then the last easement today is TE8, which is associated with 44 Charles River Avenue. Um, that's the property of uh, Tudor Wharf. And this easement is primarily in the intertidal zone, and the contractor will be using this uh, on an exclusive basis so that they can facilitate the completion of the bridge work, place barges and cranes there, and other equipment in the space 
to uh, finish up the, the remaining outstanding work on the bridge. Um, because this easement uh, was determined to be needed exclusively by the, the contractor, um, it, it, back in 2017, the value was $210,000. And now in 2022, it's $411,700. So with that, um, that concludes uh, my portion of the presentation. Uh, are there any questions or uh, comments? Thank you, Brian. Any questions, Commissioner Malloy? OK, having none. I move that we pass this. Uh, motion to approve. Second. Thank you. All in favor? Oh. Aye. Aye. The ayes have it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Vote number, vote number one is hereby approved. This concludes the agenda for public works today. Is there a motion to adjourn this meeting? Motion to adjourn. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank, Thank you. you. This meeting is adjourned. Thank you.